Making It Work is brought to you by Wealthsimple, which gives everyone access to simple, affordable investing on cruise control. It's Saturday night, and I'm reading a pretty damn boring book about email marketing sales funnels. Why? Because I dropped over $100 on a new necklace yesterday, and I'm trying to chill out this weekend on spending. But also because it's research for future jobs and future side hustle work. This got me thinking about side hustles and my love for them as a writer. I've decided to talk about exactly how much I made from each of my side gigs in one year, the amount of time they took, the amount of emotional and mental energy they took, and how it all ended up to be extremely doable while maintaining my day job. While I broke this down, I was reminded that the money mostly came in $30 to $100 at a time. I was and am playing the long game. The few hours I put in every few nights added up to $100 every so often, which added up to $1,000, and after 12 months, you get what I'm saying. Basically, much of it is pretty realistic and attainable. In 2015, I made $21,000 plus in freelance income on top of my full-time salary job. A few things specifically made this possible. So before I get into details, I wanted to paint a realistic, privilege acknowledging picture of what my life was like while this happened. Number one, I walked to my day job in 15 minutes or less each way. Because of this, I didn't spend the one to two hours most people I know spend commuting and could easily do a few hours of freelance work, upping my daily income by $100 or so by the time my boyfriend got back from work in Venice to West Hollywood in LA rush hour. Number two, I had a job that paid decently that didn't require obscene hours. I had some weeks where we had insane 24-hour live streams, weekend work events maybe once a month, and a decent chunk of work travel. But overall, it was very reasonable. There are jobs that require insane hours that are worth it for some people, financially or career-wise. But those often don't give you as much time to freelance. Number three, I am an LA native and my family still lives here, which is relevant to the last income source on my list. This obviously isn't something I can control, but it's dope. When I moved back to LA, I hadn't even considered the possible and financial benefits of this, but it has pretty much deterred me from ever leaving, along with really strengthening my relationship with my fam, even when I'm not using them for a place to crash. Number four, I had and have a certain level of privilege and access. This allowed me to spend my free time doing side hustles, an apartment with internet that was a great workspace, pretty damn good physical and mental health that helped me stay motivated, and an education and growing skill set that was relatively in demand and qualified me for a decent freelancer rate. Now, let's get into my individual side hustle earnings from smallest to largest. $1,500, three branded content articles for lifestyle brands assigned to me through the branded content division of an online media company I had blogged for prior. These are the only big check projects on my list. These were in the same month and only happened that time during the entire year, sadly. Branded content isn't a journalist's dream, but thankfully for me, I no longer consider myself a journalist. I'm a writer, but selling out writing funny blogs for liquor brands doesn't offend or shame me. And the pay is great. $2,400. 2400 dollars 15 educational marketing blogs for a website builder software to put on their website. I found this company on angel.co and reached out. This was all done in the last two months of the year. These projects are incredibly boring, but easy for me. I did one to two of these a week, and they took about 60 to 90 minutes each. This was definitely the main hustle, where I had to buckle down and remind myself of the cost benefit and how worth it these were for me. $2,870. 13 back to back blogs and a three day trip to a trade show in Las Vegas, paid on a day rate for a boutique content marketing agency. I got introduced to this through an online acquaintance. The blogs were for business owners from a business perspective, but touched on trending fashion and lifestyle topics, so they were fun and easy to write. The people I worked with were also really great. This is an example of a gig I could do one to two times a month while having a more intense or fulfilling full-time job. $4,500, about 120 hours of copywriting, email marketing, and general marketing strategy for a lifestyle startup. This was over the course of three months, and it was probably the project I was the most dedicated to. I got this through a mentor-esque figure I met in college, and it was the first gig where I had to really come up with a concrete hourly rate, which was a great learning experience. I kind of humiliated myself when I first suggested one that was, looking back, obscenely high. $4,500. 
$10,000, 26 reservations equaling 70 total nights renting my one-bedroom apartment on Airbnb. This was literally life-changing for me this year. Granted, half of this money was my boyfriend's, but we had it in a joint account, so I'll include it. It also really got my mind thinking about the value of owning and renting out property, which I really had never considered to be a part of my short-term plan. A few downsides. It's inconvenient as hell. We went to my mom's or grandma's house about 50% of the time. The other times we were either already out of town, decided to go out out of town and break even or even once I had to get us our own Airbnb in LA because my mom said no. This obviously was a told you so moment from my boyfriend. The year after this was a lot slower by choice but spent working on projects I loved more with higher rates and a new full-time job. Increasing your income from side hustles is great advice for anyone looking to improve their current money situation. When taking the financial reins into your own hands, make sure to consider future you as well as today you. With Wealthsimple, that could be much easier than you think. Wealthsimple is online investing that's as simple and human as it gets. In just five minutes, they'll build you a custom portfolio to fit your personal goals and timeline. Just answer a few easy questions and they'll manage your money for you on autopilot. Set it, forget it, and let your money grow in the background. You can turn on automatic deposits as well as set up a smart savings account with higher rates than big banks for your shorter term goals, your wedding, your next great adventure, or that handbag you need. They also have a socially responsible portfolio that invests in green stocks and companies that support gender diversity. The fees are much lower than big banks and TFD viewers will get their first $10,000 managed for free with no minimum deposit. Check them out at wealthsimple.com slash TFD or use the link in our description. There are no account minimums and it only takes a few minutes to start. No excuses.